Hi, I'm Anne Liu. I'm the uh, general and artistic director of the National Theatre and Concert Hall, and you are watching Better Taiwan. Hi, I'm Joey Chow, and this is another episode of Better Taiwan, where we talk about COVID-19 and its impact on the livelihood of the people on this island. And as you've heard, yes, we're reaching into the performing arts sector today to find out how they are doing amidst all the social distancing rules and large-scale uh, gathering regulations. Today, we're speaking with the general and artistic director of NTCH, that is National Theatre and Concert Hall, Two performing venues that sit on either side of Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, which is commonly known as the tourist destination for anyone who decides to make a stop in Taipei. NTCH, they host performances from abroad. They also commission work with local artists, which means that they must maintain their venues to their tip-top condition at all times. So lights, rigs, props, and air conditioning. Yeah, in Taiwan, in Taipei, it gets up to 35 to 40 degrees in the summertime, and the moisture in the air can really ruin your day, let alone try to enjoy a play on stage. So NTCH not only has its own venues to maintain, they also have their own ticketing system, both online and with partner convenience stores. They sell not only their own tickets, but almost two-thirds of all the performing arts tickets and exhibition tickets here in Taiwan. So, on top of all of that, Director Liu, as the director of uh, NTCH, your plate is full, and recently it's even fuller because of COVID-19. For international and domestic acts, some of these bookings were made a year or two years in advance. Yeah. Starting in around February this year, we learned that um, uh, the COVID-19 has gotten a lot more severe than we previously imagined. Surely you've canceled a lot of shows. Now, exactly how many, can you give us a scope, an idea of how many shows are being canceled? Um, for the National Theater and Concert Hall, well, for mm. shows that happened in our venue, we have canceled around 400 performances already. And, um, but we can see from our ticketing, uh, ticketing system, around seven and eight hundred performances has been canceled, uh, all island around. So uh, it's pretty severe indeed. And our major festival uh, in the spring, the uh, TIFA Taiwan International Festival of Arts, unfortunately got canceled. So uh, we only have one uh, uh, small scale experimental theater performances that that do get to show, but the rest we have to cancel or we have to um, move them down to uh, the end of this year or the early uh, part of okay. next year. So yeah, we have like, it's pretty big hit for us. Okay. Um, of course, the financial fallouts of COVID-19 for all sectors of Taiwan is immense. Um, we learned just exactly one week ago on the 23rd that the central government of Taiwan is amping up the special budget for COVID-19. Yeah. And um, out of the 210 billion, more almost 2% of that is going to the Ministry of Culture, yeah. uh, which means that the Taiwanese government is very concerned about the cultural sectors of Taiwan. Is NTCH a part of the organizations that can receive this grant? Or are you kind of operating on your own? We, we can't not apply for that mm -hmm. help. <laughs> we, have to, um, we have to support ourselves. So this mm -hmm. year I'm looking at um, uh, uh, maybe 70 million to 100 million deficit in our annual operation financially. So far. So far. So far. And, okay. um, but luckily, in the past 32 years, uh, NTCH has some savings in our bank account. Yeah. So I think we will survive this year. We will. And um, because half of our budget actually come from the government, the uh, Ministry of Culture. So um, uh -huh. we have half of our uh, expenses covered. And now we are uh, using our savings to cover the other half, the mine. Uh, happen uh, for the coming months. So we will survive this year and we are not eligible or we will not apply for government help 
Okay. At so, Disney for this year. Sure. Yeah. Until 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 further notice. Basically, right now <laughs>、yeah. you want to give this money to the more private sectors that、yes. really need it.、Uh, would you say,、uh, director, that the performing arts sector is a very fragile one here in Taiwan, or maybe around the world? Because nowadays, in the twenty first century, is the age of new media. More traditional, conventional、yes. performances like、uh, symphony orchestra performances or theatrical performances is very easily affected by events such as COVID nineteen. Yeah.、Um, well, the 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 performing arts industry is fragile because、um, we are heavily funded by the government, and、mm-hmm. to tell you the truth, I think in a way we. Probably are less.、Um, we are less responsive to environmental environmental changes. I think、okay. uh, uh, when a disaster like this, we will get hit very badly because we're used to having subsid stable subsidies from the government. Once you can't have performances,、mm. usually the the group will lose their. Almost only way of、yeah. making incomes, so I think COVID nineteen in a way is a reminder of how we should build another kind of relationship、mm-hmm. with our audience, with whoever gets involved in arts. That's our homework. We need to do that because once you are not so important in people's daily life, when something like、mm-hmm. this happen. Okay. We are the first to be cut. We are the first to be forgotten. It's maybe one of the reason, maybe that we didn't get into people's life、mm-hmm. as closely and deeply as we should be. So, I think we, if there is any silver lining in all these events, then that's forcing us to face the audience to figure out. What is our value? What is art's value to those people? And we need to tell them, or we need to make them feel like they can get something from the art,、mm-hmm. rather than charity, rather than you know, you know, subsidies or good part、oh, okay. or you know just subsidies. We need to find other way to look at ourselves. As well. Okay, so as the standing director of NTCH, that job falls on your shoulder, and I guess it's fair to say that yes, COVID nineteen has forced the performing arts sector to evolve.、Um, how are we doing that under your leadership? Of course, then we started to look solution into the digit my digit world.、Uh, we are talking to our artists about. What if your performances or your arts doesn't happen in theater? What will change your creation? What is your what What will your audience be? If your audience nowadays they look at like Facebook or Line or rely heavily on digit、uh, internet, then how will you connect to them or how will you talk to them?、Mm. So that's one thing we are doing. We talking we are talking to current. Uh, artists,、uh, those who already are so used to traditional、uh, way of performances, we are talking to them and pushing them to propose another way of presenting their works.、Mm-hmm. And then we have audition.、Uh, we are、uh, trying to get this、uh, open call. We are trying to get new artists or potential artists or artists from other industry, for example, from. Uh, industry uh, from designing industry, from movie, from、uh, pop music, we want them to submit their ideas of how they are going to connect theater and internet and what whatever industry they are coming from.、Okay. And we need to bring something、uh, more to the traditional performances uh, uh, model. Mm,、okay. uh, So maybe we will get new audiences. Maybe we will get people who are once again interested in oh, what's happened in those sector? Are、uh, am I allowed to take part in, or can I take part in that sectors? That's our goal. So 
we are trying to、uh, we are forcing ourselves to to set different goals for for our coming、uh, project. One part of our pro-、uh, programming will be、uh, asking the artists or presenting the work that will only be presented over the internet, and then we will try to get more potential audiences. Who used to think that they have nothing to do with theater? We want to tell them that the theater is for you. So you get to get involved in whatever theater is doing in different method or by different ways. There are always、uh, there are always、mm-hmm. new audiences that we just need to find out. So doing our best to try to figure out is there another way that. We need to do this. We need to think about this. Okay.、Uh, one last question. Last、oh. week we had a chance to speak with、uh, Shida, so NTNU's professor, about how they have been doing these remote learning strategies.、Um, yeah. And we talked to. We actually spoke with a literature、uh, professor. So she said it hasn't affected her at all because, of course, literature I think is a subject that you can learn through just watching your teacher delivering information. And I was curious. Um, for Taiwan's say performing arts schools, which is renowned,、um, some of these students maybe if COVID nineteen continues, they won't find space to act, to practice.、Um, have、mm-hmm. you heard anything about how they're facing this problem?、Uh, actually, no,、uh, because we are lucky that the school is still open. I、uh-huh. think, and of course, in NTCH we have this、uh, we have this uh, uh, policy. We are. Opening up our venue to whoever want to use our venue to practice, to try out, to videotape.、Okay. So、um, if they are having trouble getting venues, we are they are more than welcome here in、okay. in NTCH. So this is another another way they they can get their fire burning. So when everything come back to more normal, we will come back. Like rapidly, sooner than we expected. Okay, so this is a message from Director Liu to all of the young performing arts students. Don't、yes. worry, you won't run out of jobs anytime <laughs> soon. So continue your passion. In fact, with your young minds, I'm sure there are new ways you can be inventive about performances、uh, yes. that can, you, know, you can further collaborate with NTCH in the future. Yes. Okay. Yes.、Uh, thank you so much, Director Liu, for joining us over、uh, Google Hangout today. Thank you.